Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is my first screencast about using AppTrap to remove applications. So, when you remove an application from your computer in Mac OS X, using the trash like so, it can leave behind all sorts of files such as preferences, plugins, documents, loads of stuff. So there's a couple of different applications you can use to get rid of these files. The first of these is called App Zapper. Now App Zapper will um, you drag the application you want to delete onto the App Zapper file, and it will delete the application you drag onto it and all its preferences and so on and so forth. Well, it's quite well, but there's one big disadvantage to it, and that is it's thirteen dollars. That's not a lot to pay, but we'd rather not. Second solution then is App Cleaner. Same program really in effect, um, but this time it's free. Um, but again, that's not really great, is it? Because you've still got to drag your application to this icon rather than the trash. If you forget, then you're not going to get all the benefit from it. Is there not a better way? Well, there is. And this better way is called App Trap. Um, App Trap is sort itself as a preference pane in a system prefs um, application. Um, so it's completely invisible, uh, but it's really useful, and I'm going to demonstrate it. Another thing to bear in mind, it's also free. So without further ado, let's download and install it. So let's open up Safari. Um, I can't remember the website, so I'm just going to search for it. Um, yes, when you go on the website, you'll notice at the top, it says it's no longer being maintained or developed by whoever's site this is. So it says visit the site instead, click on that. So you get to the app track website. Um, here's some screenshots, but it doesn't really show a lot, to be honest. Um, the download link actually is in the top left, which is really hard to find, I thought, but I found it. So click on that to download it. You download a zip folder. It will then decompress it and it will leave you with a pref pane. So you double click on that. And um, let's go to that. Oh, where's it gone? And it will say app trap needs to be restored. Okay. Um, you can choose whether you install it for the current user or for all users. I'm going to do all users because, well, I like to. Why not? Um, it will ask you for a password if you do all users. Usually, didn't that time. That's really weird. Most of the times when I've done it, it's asked for a password. I expect it will when you do it. So to start it up, click on Start App Trap. It will say, are you sure? You've done it from the internet. And it could be full of nasties, but it's not, so that's okay. Let's open that. And then say, yeah, I want to start it automatically when I log in. And that's it for setting it up. So you can close System Preferences. And I'm going to close Safari. Okay, next I'm going to try deleting something. So let me just empty my trash quickly. Like this. Um, let's click on Dropbox. Um, I love Dropbox, but just to demonstrate, I'll delete. So, check Dropbox in the trash. And it will say, you're moving applications to the trash. Do you want to move its associated system files to? So, you probably see that by default, but you click the little arrow here. And let's just zoom in so you can get with you. Click the little arrow, and that will show you the details. So, you can either leave the files where they are, or you can move them. I'm going to move them for the purpose of this demonstration. So if I go into my trash now, there's Dropbox, and there's Dropbox's preferences. So it's moved the preferences and anything else that's Dropboxy from my system into the trash as well. So now if I empty my trash, if I get rid of not only Dropbox here, but also the preference file for it. Um, I don't really want to get rid of Dropbox, so I won't actually click empty, but you can see how that would work. Um, and that's basically it. That's how you use AppTrap. That's how you install it. That's how you get it going. That's how you use it. Um, just to point out, if I delete anything else that's not an application, obviously nothing happens, and that's the same as normal. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the end of my screencast. Um, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's been useful. See you later.